What do you mean unlock? What happened to my battle pass? Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. Uh, maybe, maybe it's the dementia talking, but I swear once upon a time, I was like level 350 something. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Cause then I start to taste them. I say, and then I start to smell them. So it's like a smell that tastes like, I was like so I knew something was wrong. I knew something special about it. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and as most of you have noticed, you have lost everything in Apex Legends, which is a pretty big deal, because you know, it's the whole reason we play, is to grind cosmetics and progression in the game. With that being said, we're gonna go over when is this going to be fixed, what likely caused the issue, and what we know about the problems that are existing in Apex Legends, and why this probably won't be the end of it as well. We're also gonna go ahead and give out some money in this video, I'm not gonna go ahead and do the skin giveaway, because, well, I don't really know if I wanna support Apex Legends in microtransactions right now. But without further ado, Let's jump into today's topic. So as most of you have noticed, if you've logged into Apex Legends since the split was supposed to happen yesterday, that the game is completely broken and busted. And I'll go ahead and play this clip to my surprise of what happened when I logged in and a full rundown of everything that was missing. Hey everyone, Thornton here, and uh, the newest update has absolutely broken the game. Let's go ahead and look at everything that's been reset. Now, in the first split, I was Diamond 4. Unfortunately, it set me back nine tiers to Silver 1. That's the first thing that's broken. Second thing that's broken, all Shadow Society collection uh, points have been reset completely. Um, I guess you could get an extra event pack if you wanted to, to try to get the heirloom. Uh, don't worry though, um, the battle pass is level one, uh, reset all the way from level 85. The story has been set all the way back uh, from, I think I had like 31 or 32 treasure packs collected. It is back to zero. All my battle pass challenges are zero. All my breakout challenges have been completely reset. Um, I have some badges for some legends like uh, Bangalore. And if we go here into, uh, where's the badges? There we go, badges. It's doing this weird thing where all my badges have been reset. Basically, I kept a couple of them, but like for instance, it shows like rank three. I had the badge, but it is locked behind a wall. Other than that, everything has been reset to bronze, uh, except for a couple of badges. Um... Some people are losing heirlooms. But as you can see there, it is pretty broken. Along with that, his Watson noted that he did lose his Pred badge and around 10 heirlooms, which is really unfortunate. I didn't lose any of my heirlooms, so it does seem to be impacting everyone a little bit differently. Another player on Reddit also pointed out that it was a complete wipe of their account, including all career damage and in season 20. Like everything was just completely gone. Some players are reporting that skins are missing and so on and so forth. And overall, this is completely busted. However, just in case you were really worried, don't worry, the Apex Legends store still works. Check it out. You know, with every single thing being reset in Apex Legends, I wonder how the store is looking. Wow, it is selling for $35 and it seems to be completely functional while the rest of the game is broken. That's, that's a really odd coincidence. What is the odds that everything breaks but the store, which wants me to buy the battle pass again because it took it away and then reset my progress, still works completely fine. EA. Oh, okay, and now the servers are done. Yeah, you just gotta love the priorities of how sometimes a game-breaking bug can break everything else, but yet the cosmetics can still be sold. Now, the question is, why is all of this happening? And there's a couple of things we know. One, Respawn has made an official statement saying, we have seen your reports about account resets in Play Apex and are investigating. We'll let you know as soon as we have an update on the issue. That is absolutely fantastic, although it doesn't give us a lot of information. Hello everyone, Novel here. Thornton asked me to quickly butt in and just read this tweet that Respawn put out just a few hours ago regarding the entire situation of them pushing out the update that got everyone's accounts wiped. We've rolled out an update to address this issue. Any account logging in will now not experience any lost progress or content. For players who are missing progress or content after our update this morning, please hang tight for now. We're working on an additional fix to restore your accounts to their state before our update and we'll let you know as soon as it's ready. Thank you for your patience while we work through this. First it was ALGS with Destroyer 2009, then it was all the rampant cheaters running around in rank just causing havoc for everyone, and now it's this. Everyone's heirloom got taken off their account, including my kunai. I would like to have my kunai back. Okay, so I called you because I needed to tell you something. Uh-huh. I don't have an heirloom anymore. I was reading the chat, that's why I got an Apex. How do you mess up this bad, bro? I am literally, I'm literally, bro, I, 
bro i logged into my account and they did the cross progression thing all over again the oh. my, my battle pass has been reset and my level and badges have also been reset and i don't have an heirloom okay. i'm in heirloom okay. rates now some people got everything wiped skins stats trackers everything I mean, bro yeah look at reflex he lost everything this season his lower prestige skin wow. he went from 14 to 11 heirlooms 14 to 11 man lost a lot dude that's a lot of money just gone that is crazy ea pulled a playboy cardi now there's some rumors going around that it's actually destroyer 2009 the same guy that hacked jen burton and imperial howl and well it does seem like well hey that makes a lot of sense that was very recent it actually doesn't make a lot of sense mainly due to the fact that crowd Rindo pointed out right here this glitch has actually already happened before this is pretty much the exact same thing it was three years ago I believe it was around the time of season eight or season nine where players reported losing all their apex progress and respawn devs actually addressed it saying yeah we're aware of the issue and we'll go ahead and fix it so i don't think destroyer 2009 also has the ability to hack into every player's account and reset everything i mean who knows maybe he is truly the savant of hacking and he is the next coming of neo from the matrix but i just don't think that seems very likely it seems like it's probably something that apex legends did in one of their recent patches we do know that they've done some new security updates and rolled out two so far and maybe there was a third one that was supposed to come out that caused this issue it's also very likely this has something to do with cross progression because when you try to log in it once again even if you've already done cross progression tries to do it again and then we'll give you this message sometimes saying unfortunately your account has failed to migrate to cross progression our support team has been informed and the issue should be resolved within 24 hours please check back later and i only can pray for the poor souls that are on that support team who got flooded with about 5 million of these failed cross progression migrations yesterday at 11 a.m or i will you know 11 a.m my time what will likely happen is apex legends and respawn are gonna have to roll something back this is pretty much inevitable at this point because something that they did on their end just didn't functionally work with some of the things and that happens with a game this old don't direct any of your hate at the devs they're literally doing their best but what i will say is if you truly are upset with this kind of situation vote with your wallet there's an entire new collection event with a universal heirloom that costs upwards of 300 that will then be customizable for 700 and in the middle of this event some of those heirlooms were actually taken away from players and players had their entire accounts wiped now they will be reinstated but you gotta send a message to ea and respawn about what you are willing to spend money on. It's not helped by the fact that there are five more of those universal heirlooms coming in known as Celestial, Death, Hissock, Steam, and Stetch. I don't even know what the hell Stetch is. But at a certain point, we've got to fundamentally wonder, is it worth buying this many in-game cosmetics if they're just going to be taken away every time the game breaks, which is way more often than any other AAA game that I can think of. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the current state of Apex Legends? What are your thoughts on all the progression being deleted? And are you really, really upset about this? Or do you think that this is just the way that certain things go in the game? And don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does a ton of great Apex Legends content. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.